Hi Hokan, uh, there seems to be a bit of a me. Uh, it seems like there's a bit of a, a confusion with this law of diminishing returns, and you were kind enough to come out to the cold <laughs> and uh, give us a quick explanation of what it might mean. So, floor is yours. Okay, thank you, Murat. Welcome to outdoor class. We like to have those in Sweden, particularly this time of the year. Now. Um, uh, the law of diminishing return is such a kind of uh, uh, powerful and central fundamental concept. So uh, I just want to get, make sure that you got this right. So now let's have a look at this. Kind of the curve looks like this. Uh, and um, so it's kind of approaching but never gets really down there. Uh, the example I'll be using now is uh, cleaning efficiency. And uh, so typically kind of like uh, some sort of end of pipe treatment. So you're trying to clean something, you're going to take away. Oh, thank you, Murat, yes. Maybe I should use this one. Uh, no. Oh, that was better, thanks. Um, now, uh, so we're looking at taking something away uh, from, a, from a gas stream, for example. So if we have, uh, for example, SO2 in a gas stream and we want it to jump over into a wet stream that we are, say we're spraying a shower into, the, into our exhaust gases and we want SO2 to move over from the flue gas over into these water droplets so that we can remove it. So it's kind of a removal thing. Uh, then the cleaning efficiency looks like this. Um, just to understand the, the law here, the first step, the first piece of equipment, equipment number one, uh, we get quite a substantial, sorry, it's a bit windy up here, so, but I can hold on to this one. Uh, you get a quite substantial cut in, uh, or, uh, in, in emissions here. There's a lot of things cleaned out. Uh, if you look what happened if we go down to something like uh, cleaning step number four, uh, when we add that one, we, you would find that the difference here is fairly marginal. So there's a small improvement when we go from step four to number five. So that's the law of diminishing returns. When we add extra effort, we put extra money or extra numbers of equipment, uh, re the, the relative re relative reduce the cleaning. And what's the reason for this? Well, it's a mass transfer thing. And if you remember the equation of mass transfer, it's, um, it's, it's the one of those fundamental engineering equations. So we have, uh, we have a constant times, in this case, the area, which is the area of the interface. And then also the driving force, which in this case is a difference in constants, so it's a delta concentration. It's a mass transfer thing. The driving force is a difference in concentration. So you have a higher concentration in the flue gas, and the SO2 then jumps over into the liquid where there's a lower concentration. Uh, yes, thank you, Marat. Thanks, it's getting a bit cold here. Um, and um, so, uh, what we then see here is that in the early stages here of this, this, what happens here is that in the flue gas here, we have a high concentration of SO2. Then we have a high driving force. Delta concentration is high. Uh, and thus we get, a, when we have uh, one piece of equipment, one area, uh, we get a big chunk of savings here. But when we have done, when we have removed a lot already from our flue gas, the concentration is fairly low. Uh, so the difference in concentration here between um, our flue gases where we've taken away almost all of the SO2 and the droplets into which we want this to jump in, then the concentration difference is fairly small. Here the concentration is small. So when we add one more equipment, the delta C will be small and we get a small gain. And that's kind of how a chemical engineer would explain this thing with the law of diminishing returns. And uh, I mean, it's also applicable in uh, other areas, even like when you learn a language, isn't it? The first hour you spend, you learn a lot more. And as you go more and more, the one hour you spend after three months doesn't get you as much as uh, 
Yes, the that's, that, that's where it's really very true, kind of. Yes. And, and when you go to the, the economics class, uh, Lars Hansen and Louis Mudaka will explain you this thing uh, from an economist. And the same law, the law of diminishing return, applies there, but they will explain it as economists. Uh, but uh, you'll wait to that courses. But you should be able to explain it as an engineer after this course. Shall we also give them a, a, an idea of where this thing is being shot? Ah, of course. So uh, we'll take the chance also then to introduce you to the uh, the heights of the institute. So we're on the we are the actually very... on the roof, and ah. here you see a nice view of Lund over there. Some nations, and we can jump over this. Let's see. Uh, here you have a beautiful Swedish weather with. Uh, no sunshine and a little wind and I don't know whether you can still hear me. But okay, thank you very much Hokan. Uh, okay. for taking thank you very much and uh, see you soon. Yeah, bye.